Hello, and welcome to the Manitoba Institute of Trades and Technology Housekeeping Simulation Room for Hospitality Programs. Today, I will show you how to make a bed like a housekeeping room attendant. A key task of a housekeeping room attendant is changing linens and making beds. Beds are large pieces of furniture, so this task must be done properly. Remember as you bend, is to keep your back upright and straight and your shoulder blades should be pinched together. Bend only at knees and hips and not your back. This is to avoid injury and to ensure no time is wasted. To begin, I will show you how to strip the bed. But before you strip the bed, be sure to put on disposable gloves. Then you may proceed to check on the blankets and the bed sheets. If you have found an item and assuming that you're working in a stayover room, you may put this on the side. But if you're working in a checkout room, please ensure to log it as a lost and found item and report it to your supervisor or manager at the end of your shift. Now let's begin making the bed. First is pull the bed a little away from the headboard to easy access the head side of the mattress as you can see of what I did in here. Next, we are going to place the bottom sheet, which is also known as the flat sheet, on the mattress. Now you have to check the seams of the blankets or the sheets. The thick one should be at the bottom and the thin one should be on the side. Now ensure that the bottom sheet is on the center of the mattress and let of the mattress to hang, sorry, let the sheets just hang on the mattress um, over on the sides of it. And then uh, we're going to tuck this side of the bottom sheet, which is at the foot of the mattress. the sheet straight out from the corner is we're going to make a flap. So you're going to pull this up and tuck this under. Now tuck in the flap. This is also known as the hospital corner. Now we're going to move on the foot of the bed. Repeat the same procedure. Again, pull the loose end of the sheet from the corner. Pull this up to make a flap. Uh, tuck this under. And tuck in the flap. Now you made another hospital corner and then we're going to tuck the loose part of the sheet in here so this side is done then we're going to move on the other side we're going to start again from the head of the bed Again, we're going to make a flap from the loose end corner. And 
Then you may proceed on checking all the sides of the mattress, making sure everything is stuck and stacked. And there you go. The bottom sheet is now on the mattress. Then you can push the bed back towards the wall. Now that the bottom sheet has been secured, next we are going to put the second set of sheet called the top sheet. Now we're going to spread the top sheet over the mattress ensuring the top end reaches the headboard. So similar with the bottom sheet is just to let the sheets hang over the mattress. Making sure it is centered. Now is we're going to grab the duvet and spread it over the top sheet. Now remember to check the edges off the duvet. If you see any tag that should go on the bottom. So there is a gap in between the duvet and the top sheet and also on the wall. Next is we're going to fold the top sheet over the duvet. Now you can make another fold. Making sure that the guest has room to go in when they uh, are ready to go to bed. Now we're going to tuck the top sheet and duvet together on this side. And we're going to move on the other side. And then we're going to tuck the foot of uh, the mattress. So same thing as we're going to tuck the uh, top sheet and the debate together. We're also going to make a hospital tuck uh, for both sheets. So same as we're going to make a, a flap, pull this up, 
and then tuck this under, tuck this in, and then tuck in the pretty part. So another hospital corner over this uh, side of the bed. And check in all sides now. Make sure it's all wrinkle free. And now, let's work on the pillows and the pillowcases. Now I check to see if your pillows has some tags, so this should go um, at the bottom of the pillowcase. Now you can fold them together just like this. inserts. So make sure that your pillows are inserted on the pillowcase. Now if your pillowcase is too big for the pillows, you may also um, fold this up just like this. But if the size is just uh, good enough for the pillow, then you can just uh, leave it like this. Now we're going to put our decorative pillows here on the head of the mattress. This serves as the um, headboard. Now, when placing your pillows, make sure that the open part is going this side. And same thing for this one. So here's the inserts in here. And then we'll put it this way. So the open part is facing uh, the center and not um, over this side and if you do have uh, a second set of pillows you can put it now um, what you have to uh, remember um, is that to place it um, not on top of the duvet cover so there should be like a gap in between Now it depends on what kinds of pillows that you have in your property. So uh, ensure just to follow uh, the procedures on how uh, the pillows are, are placed um, on the bed uh, depending on again um, the uh, house policies. Now uh, we can put on the bed runner. This usually goes on this side. Most at the end of the mattress. So you just put a good gap in here um, from the edge um, towards here. Just to check, uh, making sure it's the same length um, on both sides because you're letting this hang. And there we have it. The bed is now made.